everybody, Kitsune Haruru here and welcome to my channel. Today I've got two more blind boxes to show to you, uh, following up on the heels of the ornament ones, and uh, we'll see how good they are. I found these at Five Below in Chillicothe, and well, we'll see what you think. The first ones that I found were Prima Sugarinas, and the main thing that drew my attention was the fact that they come in little bonbons. Looked really cute. Would like to see what they're all about. Got one of each color just in case there's a difference. And the other one, which I intentionally chose the blind box version of, are figures from Agretzico, which I know some of you are familiar with. Here's what some of them look like. Now these come in a version where you can see what's inside and choose your character, but I intentionally chose the blackout versions because I want to be surprised. So let's go ahead and get straight on into these, and I believe I'm going to start out with the Prima Sugarinas. Now they've got their paperwork here on the outside, so let me go ahead and pop that off of there and see what that's all about. A nice little plastic package. And what we get in our little plastic package is, first of all, the intro card that says 25 to collect. It says make me spin. So I guess there's some action to the toy. And it shows you how to open it, which basically you take the bonbon and pop it. And that's pretty much all that it shows you on this outside card. Oh, by the way, and these are from Wowie Company, which has been around for quite some time. Not sure exactly how long, but I do remember them being around a while. The other thing that was in that little package, of course, is the paperwork. A lot of the same information on the front. And it is printed oh so very tiny. So, the first thing you do, there's going to be a little thing on the bottom that you pop off, and you pop it open, and I guess it spins the figure as it comes out. So I may want to adjust my camera so you can see the tabletop. I, it may be like a top when it comes out of there. Um, it says cookie skirt, gummy skirt, or donut skirt. So they have different little tutus. These are very hard to see. We got popular, rare, and legendary. So in the popular, there are six different ones. There's Cinnamina Vanilla. Oh, these are really hard to see. Corinna Crumb Cherry Berry. Jujubee. BB Berry. And honey glaze and the rares oh I can hardly see these these are so small Lila biscuit Sally sweetie and Jenny jelly and the legendary are cookie cutie gummy girl oh what an unfortunate name and Donut Dazzler. Oh, there's even more on the back. So, you actually have a choice of 12 in the popular, 6 in the rare, and 6 in the legendary. And then there's one ultra rare called the Prima Sugarina. Okay. Well, microscope aside, trying to see this, I can show it to you. It's really, really hard to read. Very, very hard to see. The colors they chose to print in are impossible. We'll save this for when I have to look up who it is. So let's go ahead and get this one open. I'll well, start with the blue. There's a tear strip. You can't get your fingers into because it's behind this. Let there be knife. Oh, 
has a very similar plastic wrapping to Zuru's Five Surprise. Very hard to get off. There we are. Okay, so here's that little thing that they show on the bottom that you take off. I'm going to adjust the camera. Just in case. Let's go ahead and do that. She may spin her way right off of my table, but we'll see if she actually spins as she comes out. Let me go good down here. All right. Yeah, I'm chopping my own head off, but you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. And my scratched up table. So here we are. It says you just pull out sideways, so let's see what happens. Try to do this so you can see. Oh. Yeah, I, she was supposed to spin. But it wasn't releasing her well. <laughs> Let's try that again. This is some kind of a little launcher. And you go like this. And there she went. So yeah, apparently she's supposed to spin coming out of here. The launcher sucks. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. The launcher just sucks. So let's grab her off the floor and see who she was. All right. So um, here she is. She's kind of cute. Has little candy things on top of her head. She's clearly a piece of candy. There's her little feet and also the uh, gearing that allows her to spin, theoretically. Let's see who she is. Oh, here we are. I don't know how well you can see it, but she's Tina Twist. Alright. Kind of cute. She can stand here in her little candy thing. She can't really see. Let me show you that. <laughs> So yeah, the little piece here that came off the bottom, she can stand in. So there she is. Her useless launcher. Put that over here to help the other one not fall off, maybe. And let's go ahead and open up the other. This time in yellow. Say no to duplicates, people. Plastic. If you're getting these for kids, you're going to be opening it up for them. There's no way they're getting this open themselves. They want the base. Grab that base before it escapes too far. I'll need that. Alright, here we go. This one doesn't seem to be as jammed, so maybe? Let's try it. Still a disappointment. I wonder. Now, these are just not balanced to do this. They can't really spin. They're supposed to, but they're not balanced for it. So here's the second one. She's really cute. Oop. Really? Just a moment. She's really cute. And here she is. Her little lollipops. Her little tiara on her bonbon hair. Little pink juju or tights. And let's see who she is. No, honestly, they could switch bases. It would look good. Um, not that one. I think... I'm seeing properly, which I can't swear to. She might be Lily Poppy. So she's a rare. And 
she's a popular. And she's got the lollipop skirt and she's got the mint skirt. So yeah, they're really cute. They don't spin like they're supposed to. Um, will you spin in your base? No, they sit very tightly in the bases. So they don't spin at all there. But they are pretty cute. Um, would make some cute little sugar plum fairies for your Christmas decorations. Um, or if you just like dolls and ballerinas and that sort of thing. They're cute. Kind of playable. They are not articulated in it at all. Nicely painted, oversized eyes. Not a bad little stocking stuffer or just a little surprise toy. Just for the fun of it. Or just to have something to sit around. So let's set this aside. And they're ineffectual launchers. There, ladies. I'm going to put my camera back up and we'll get on to some Agretzico. All right, we are back and my head's partially cut off, but you can see me again, so that's okay. Let's get right on in here to the Agretzico. Now, according to the package, we've got a few choices. We can get Ukami with cell phone. A Gretzico with microphone and amplifier. Director Gory with a notebook. I really like that character. A Gretzico with headphones. A Gretzico with karaoke machine and purse. A Gretzico glow in the dark with microphone and amplifier. There's the gold edition A Gretzico with guitar. There's a Gretzico with laptop and headphones. Director Gory with notebook again. Secretary Washimi with her notebook. And Sonoda with his cell phone. It looks like you've got different versions of her in street clothes, work clothes, all sorts of things going on here. So let's go ahead and see what we've got inside of these. And this one I have Ukami with his cell phone. I find it interesting they call him Ukami when he very, very obviously is not a fox. Or not a wolf, but a fox. See the tail? That's a fox. <laughs> but they call him wolf. Inside of the packaging comes out as well. Let me get this out of here. Maybe. Looks like it's supposed to. Did I just open it? Maybe. Yeah, there's more in ah. So it comes with a card. It says, at work, Ukami skates through by doing the bare minimum. At night, he goes on the prowl. This is by Action Vinyls, by the way. And it also has a listing of all of the characters that they have available in this series. Right here on the back. The inside, which I can't seem to get loose without destroying the box. The destroy, I shall. A little scene. Oh, there it goes. A little office scene that you can stand them up in. He is articulated. He's got hip, knee, ankle, shoulder, wrist, and waist, and head. So he's pretty poseable. His tail is stiff so it doesn't go anywhere. Not as familiar with this character, but that's okay. He's a fox. <laughs> and his tiny little phone. Let me get it loose. It 
apparently he's uh, talking to the boss on his tiny little phone. I don't know if you can see the picture, but that's the picture of the, the pig. He's put his phone in his hand here. These are playable figures, it appears. And there he is. So we have Ukami. Let's see what else we get. No duplicates. <laughs> All right. Getting this one open. And we get... Director Gory and Silver. Interesting. I can get her loose. Here she is. She is articulated, not at the waist though. Um, she is at the hip, the knee, and ankle, shoulder, wrist. Oh, nope, her waist does turn a little bit. There it goes. With her, she has a notebook. solid yes yeah, a solid piece so a nice solid little notebook you can do little pages in there it has binding that fits in her hand has the exact same insides on the box so I'm not gonna bother to pull those out here she is And her card says, Gory is a talented and hardworking director of marketing. She is a daunting figure on the outside, but is surprisingly delicate on the inside and often finds it hard to say what's on her mind. She dresses in cool, conservative fashion, but comments about her physical appearance hurt and she frequently requires herself to sleep at night. So here she is, Director Gory. All right, pretty good figures. They're nice and solid. They're also a rubberized material. Um, not for little children, obviously, because they've got the small pieces that they are going to lose or swallow. And yeah, these are coll are playable, collectible figures. Older kids to adult, I would say. Pretty well made. Printing is done well. Nothing's like wonky or out of line. Um, the little background pieces, eh, whatever. It's cute to see in there. Nice decoration, but ultimately, it's recycling. So, again, nice figures. Something I would recommend. I did get them from Five Below, so they were not expensive. Um, they're probably available other places as well. And would probably make a nice gift for an Agretzico fan. So here you have it, guys. We have... The thing that I forgot what it is called, <laughs> Prima Sugarinas and Agretzico figures. They're pretty good. Um, I'm not going to get overexcited on either one of them. These, obviously, if you're a fan, are going to be very nice. The others are okay. Good toy for a kid as long as they're not too young. So, guys, there we have it. Uh, thank you for watching and dealing with my bad camera angles and flinging things off of the table. I will be back shortly, hopefully with some other things along the lines of maybe crafting or decorating because, of course, I do Christmas decorating too and I might do a video like I did for Halloween if I get enough stuff. Otherwise, I'll just show you a few quick clips around Christmas time. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.